so part one of this venture is successful. I got myself a Venom and he's, I, you know what? As soon as I bought him, I'm like, yeah, yeah, we made a good decision. This sucks more than anything that has ever sucked before. I've made a huge mistake. This is, without a doubt, the worst action figure I have ever bought. Wanna hear about it? Here it goes. Wear your own clothes, kid. Your hand-me-downs. The symbiote that Peter Parker tried to destroy, Eddie Brock, has embraced. We bonded. Hello there gang and welcome to a special episode of Model Behaviour. I could probably assemble a badass Spider-Man Sinister Six collection or just Spider-Man Rogues in general. Want to see how it goes? Well, that's what we're gonna do. So you clicked on the video, you gotta watch the whole thing now. You got no choice. Come on, let's go. Ooh, and lo and behold, that's what I was looking for. We got Venom here, Yamaguchi Venom. All right, so part one of this venture is successful. I got myself a Venom and he's, I, you know what? As soon as I bought him, I'm like, yeah, yeah, we made a good decision. Before we continue, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Into the AM who are sponsoring this video and providing me with some beautiful graphic design t-shirts. Guys, if you like this design, guess what? There are a whole bunch of other ones as well and you can see them all by clicking the link in the description below. And by doing so, you're gonna get 10% off your order as well if you wanna pick one up. The only problem you might have is deciding which design you wanna go for, because each one is better than the last. Luckily, the prices are so reasonable, and you get my 10% off as well, that you can buy a whole bunch of them and still be quids in. And not only do they look good, but they feel so darn comfortable. The cut is terrific, it accentuates all the positives. And also this particular one is 100% cotton, which considering that Dave has kind of sensitive skin, makes all the difference. I wear these things all day, every day, and dang it, they're so darn comfortable. So guys, if you wanna know about the comfort that I'm telling you about, you can experience it yourself by buying some t-shirts from Into The AM. So gang, thank you so much for watching. Into The AM, thank you so much for supporting this channel. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. This is the amazing Yamaguchi Revoltek Venom. And I know what you might be thinking. Oh Dave, what are you talking about? That doesn't look too bad. That actually looks like quite a cool, fun Venom. Yeah. That's how they get you. That's how they get you to hand over your hard earned money for something that is the most worthless piece of garbage I've ever wasted my well earned money on. Oh my goodness, where do I even start with this plastic monstrosity? Amazing Yamaguchi, Ama oh, amazing. You, Where exactly do you buy the pants to contain your ridiculously large cojones for calling your company amazing when with a straight face you put out stuff like this, this absolute waste of plastic that I was stupid enough to buy because I thought I want a Venom in my collection. I love Venom. He's one of my favorite characters. I'm over here in Japan. I'm building up this, this extra Marvel Legends display that, that I have. I want a little something. I, I want something to... Re that wasn't intentional. That wasn't a bit. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to... to, to that it just... It, it, it just, it just fell off. Every, everything falls off this waste of space. This is a figure that looks good in, in, in pictures posed in the right way. I can't even see where his arm sticks back on. Where's the ball joint? There's a whole ball joint. The ball joint fell off. The whole, the whole thing. It's the, the, the whole ball joint itself came out of the socket. And I was like, this, this must be a knockoff. This can't be legit. No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna put it back. No, it's fine. It's, it's gonna be one arm for the rest of this. I, I thought that this must be a knockoff. This, this can't be a real action figure. But I bought this at a, at a place called Yodabashi Camera. It's, it's a real proper brick and mortar, legit store. They, they, don't buy, they don't buy and sell secondhand stuff. What they sell is legit from the, the 
from the the could I swear I'm not doing this. This, this. this is not this is not a bit, this is not a setup. This this thing just just fell apart in my hands. That that that's it. That this is this is the review. Congratulations. Revoltech Venom. You can't actually stay together for a single review. This is just utterly egregious. Look at this face. Look, his his face falls off. This is, this is what I paid money for. This is what a company thinks is acceptable to put out on, on their shelves. Oh, let me just articulate his legs. Oh, no, wait, that just fell off now as well. It's bits and pieces of utter crap. It, this thing just exploded on my bed. I just, I threw him down and it just went, that's, that's what I spent my money on. I'm not going to get it back. I brought this on myself. I just shouldn't be allowed to have money. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry you had to see that. And honestly, I'm a little bit embarrassed, but I needed to get that off my chest because I don't want anyone else to have to suffer the way that I did with this action figure. So the bottom line is, in the occasional picture, this looks really fun. The design that they've gone for with the head has a real kind of wacky, animated, Eric Larson kind of look to it. I have a lot of time for that. And you're able to change the style of the eyes by taking off the headpiece and replacing it with a second one. I'm not going to get the second one out of the box because this figure doesn't deserve the effort. But it's nice that you can do that. It would be even nicer if the headpiece actually stayed on. But it doesn't. Then going down, we've got the tongue, which is on this ball, ball joint here. You know what? What's great about this tongue is that it actually stays on the ball joint. Once you plug it in, it doesn't just randomly fall off, which in the case of this figure is actually a huge bonus. Didn't, did, didn't think that I could expect that, but there we are. Then we're going to come to the arms, and the arms are on the... Oh, 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 they, they've broken at, at the, uh, the elbows as well, not just the shoulder. They, they break at the elbows too, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to carry on regardless. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to put these back on though, but you can see that it has a nice little ball joint socket here. Um, it's not nice though because it doesn't hold the arm on. And being an old school style Revoltech figure, you do have these big kind of gaps under the arms as well. But that's okay because he's all one uniform color on the body, so you can kind of get away with that. It all blends in together. And speaking of the color, the metallic-y kind of blue, the, this dark, deep, metallic navy blue, it works really well for Venom. It's, it's, it's a decent looking color for him. It's, it's striking, and I, I really like that. Similarly, the paintwork on the teeth and the gums, it's very detailed. You've got a nice wash on there, really, really brings it to life. Unfortunately, going back to the arms, he has these articulated fingers, but they, they don't they don't look good. You, you can open, open them up, but that they're all bent at this kind of 45 degree angle at the top knuckles. They, it doesn't look like a natural kind of pose at all. If, if he kind of, he looks like he's almost, if you put his arms down, it's like he's walking on his knuckles like a simian type creature. But ultimately, if you try and fold them into a fist, that's probably the, the best way to have his, his fist. But honestly, I would want him more of a coming to get you. And you can kind of splay the fingers out, but because they're all bent in the same angle at the middle knuckle, it, it doesn't really look good. It's, it, it's not a great design to have for his, his arm there, unfortunately. You've got the tendrils on the back that come off, and these are all articulated here. So, oh, well, this one just fell off. But the rest of them, they're, they're actually, they, to be fair, they do stick in quite quite well to the back and you can manipulate them around a bit like Dr. Octopus arms so you can have two big ones clawing over the top and the other ones coming around the bottom if they if they stay on and then finally at this top stage for the torso we got these shoulder blade swivel joints which is it's a way I guess it's it, it's a way of 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 doing the cat oh okay well he's he's armless now <laughs> but yeah, at least you can see that the shoulder blade swivel. It's it's a way of moving the arms around, but it's 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 a weird design. Uh, yeah, this is definitely an earlier type of Revoltech that maybe you know, they they ironed out the kinks a bit better. With with the legs, it's kind of funny because he's got what looks like uh, a, a kind of a, a a thigh cut sort of 
swivel, but it, it, it's not. There's a slice in the front of the, the knee here, but it doesn't continue around, so that there is no thigh swivel. But if you try and you know, articulate his, his leg too much and to get like, get like a athletic, spidery kind of pose, it will just ping out quite easily. There's no, there's no ball joint or anything, it's just a very shallow little stub that it, it sticks onto, so that, that won't hold on for very long. And similarly, if you want to try and pose him uh, like, like twisting at, at the torso, there it goes. Uh, I didn't apply much, much pressure. He's just got this, this again, a little peg, peg ball joint here that goes through his torso. And this is another strange design choice because you, you've got his abdomen that kind of sits below it. And then the torso plugs into the socket at the base here. So his abdomen actually sits freely and just kind of swivel, swivels around. It's, it's, a very, it's a very odd choice. And when you finally have this figure, can you imagine from what I've shown you trying to stand this figure? The, the, the answer is, let, let me just, you know, spoilers here. You, you can't. You, you can't stand. The, the, best, the best way you can pose him, if you do want to have him standing on his own two feet, is just like, like this. And he might, he might stand. But the second you put anything out, oh, he's going to go. Because none of, none of this, th this, this ain't load bearing, okay? There's, this ain't going to support anything. So if you try to put him, and also like his, his knees are weak. Well, you've seen how, how weak his hips are. So if you try to put him in any kind of dynamic pose whatsoever, he's going to fold like Superman on laundry day. All right, he, he, he can't support his own weight, not in the slightest. So really, you can either have him just standing straight, or if you put him in a decent flight stand, and I mean a decent flight stand, not the flight stand that this guy comes with, because it doesn't matter how much you tighten the screws, it, it, it can't hold up his weight, just like he can't hold up his own weight. So that's it. We've gone from the top to bottom to the flight stand. I think we've covered it. Yeah, this is... Without a shadow of a doubt, the worst action figure I've ever bought in my life. Because I've, I've bought ones that do less, but they cost less as well. Uh, this, this was a full price uh, Revoltec figure. And they say a fool and his money are easily parted. And to that, I say, you're right, because this is living proof. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I should even put out this video because, I, I mean, I just kind of it's embarrassing to admit that I bought this. Um, let me, let, let me, let, let me, let me, like, uh, gauge it. Um, I won't put out the video. I will put out the video. I won't put out the video. I will put out the video. I won't put out the video. I will put out the video. Well, I guess I'm going to put out the video. And gang, that does it for my Revoltec Venom review. Hallelujah! If this even gets a couple of views, at least something will have come out of this video. Because, oh my goodness, I'm still just baffled. I'm baffled and blown away. But I hope this provided some entertainment at least. Because it's just mind-blowing. All I'll say for Revoltec, Kyoto, we've come a long way. Because the last two reviews I've been singing your praises. But this goes to show, never go back. Always look forward with action figures. Never go back. Because you find stuff like this. And this, this ain't worth the plastic it's made out of. So gang, thank you so much for watching this admittedly quite bizarre review, but I, I just thought it'd be fun to do something completely bonkers and off the wall. And hey, like I said, I wanted to get some kind of value out of this product. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for indulging in this therapy session. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior.